There's a new murder mystery movie out. I like murder mm -hmm. mystery mm -hmm. movies. Um, for the trick or treat season. So today we are checking out a haunting in Venice. WFMY News 2's Manny Frank has your News 2 movie review. When things go bump in the night, when there are more questions than answers, when there is murder afoot, there is only one person to call. Detective Hercule Poirot is on the case once again. And in this third outing, Kenneth Branagh returns both behind and in front of the screen as the legendary character from Agatha Christie. And honestly, it might be the best yet. I've seen a million of these so-called psychics, each one a fake. I do not believe in psychics. Come with me to a seance. Spot the con I can't. Detective, you are here to discredit me. In this adaptation of Agatha Christie's Halloween Party, a haunting in Venice sees Kenneth Branagh return as the illustrious detective Hercule Poirot. Set in Venice, Poirot is retired from his sleuthing days until an old friend brings him back to debunk a medium. Someone Yet Poirot can't it. seem to escape murder as one of the seance participants is found dead. <laughs> Now the detective must uncover the murderer before the haunted house gets them all. It's hard to argue against a good murder mystery, and even though the most recent Poirot adaptations have been hit or miss, Brana shines in this one that is the most bone-chilling and thrilling one to date. Unlike A Haunting in Venice's predecessors, this Christie adaptation has a distinct vision that plays between the lines of psychological thriller and classic who done. While the series is not required to visually distinguish itself every time, the stunning camera work, creepy sound design, and wonderful sets make the haunted house in Venice almost a character itself. A Haunting in Venice is gripping not just for its technical merits, but also for its deeper themes of spirituality that, with no pun intended, hover over the entire film. This claustrophobic nature of this whodunit allows us to get more connected to the psyche of Poirot, resulting in Kenneth Branagh's best performance as the detective. Third time truly is a charm. In addition, the supporting cast all gave their A-game with a script that has some surprisingly light moments mixed in with the dark. In the long line of this adapted series, I liked Murder on the Orient Express, I strongly disliked Death on the Nile, which I reviewed last year, and I loved A Haunting in Venice. To be real, roller coaster of quality aside, I would not be mad if Kenneth Branagh kept making these Agatha Christie adaptations until the end of time. I'm giving A Haunting in Venice an early Halloween to approved. You can watch it only in theaters.